All right. Question. What's our break point as Nico here? Hmm? You know the answer? Malak? You guys ever see Whiplash? You know that movie? Then why the f*** are you wasting your cue? Before two! That's basically what uh, Whiplash was. <laughs>
but you guys really need to take it seriously first five minutes of a game are very important all right so where should we be where would we be standing right now behind minions oh fuck that fuck that or the bush yeah i like the bush too that's cool walk right up get to this position that's cool too yeah that's all cool that's all better than this i just walk straight in low elo level two guys you fucking go you go dude you go 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 this isn't a peaceful place we're not gentle creatures this isn't this isn't bot lane cuddle time we're not out here we're not out here making s'mores all right i want to get out of lane phase i want to leave i want to go get my lp and move on to the next game i do not want to be sitting here flinging w's and, and relaxing okay i want my bot laners to go for level two if I pick a random VOD of a bot laner and they are not actively engaged in trying to win at level two, you're not going to climb. You're not going to climb. I could put the content in front of you until I am blue in the face, until my balls break, right? I dismiss this. This is an X. I dismiss. I know I sound like a douche. This is an X. You did not play for level two. This is the most important thing on bot lane. ADC is in the chat. If I don't see a ping and you actively trying to win at level two, dismissed. Fuck that. Go next. Now the question is, does our Leona have an excuse? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no, 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 no excuse. Nope. Do you think that if Leona had went into the middle brush and tried to consume her stacks on these melee creeps, do you think that with pots that Ezreal and Brand would have been able to kill her? Bot laners, I am very, very stiff. But not in the sexual way. I am very, very stiff on these level two all-ins. You need to get in there. Use your pot as soon. Okay, so let's talk about it though before I dismiss him. Because I'm going to dismiss you. But I want to make sure. <laughs> I want to make sure that everybody understands what I'm looking for. So that you can come in here a little bit more confident. You need to kind of figure out what you can and can't get away with. So what you should be doing is... You know in those movies where like like the matrix do you guys remember the matrix you remember that scene in the lobby uh the the, the like the, all those little pillars in the original matrix movie it's like all those pillars in that like lobby they fight around those pillars or whatever right you know how they're kind of like shooting and moving up further shooting and moving up further that type of stuff that you see in like action movies and shit it's like, ah, oh, we're behind these pillars. All right, let's cover fire and move up a little further, right? So basically what you as a support need to think about is you need to get ground, okay? You need to like wiggle your way inch forward, get into this space and zone while also someone said you got a shimmy. Yeah, this, a shimmy is a good word for it. You got to like... Finagle your way up as far as they'll let you, right? As far as they'll let you. Get up there. So if you watch, see, the reason why everybody's telling you that it's a no-go is because I'm not convinced that you're taking any space away. Look where you're standing. There's a brush here that you could use. And like I said, using that 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 action movie analogy, right? You got this brush here. So you can kind of like wiggle your way up. But then once you're here, they have to ward it, right? So guess where they have to go? They have to go back here. And then you kind of like wiggle your way in this position and try to hold this position as long as possible. 
the reason why you're getting criticized so hard is because you're not it's like you're not trying to get up there you're you're waiting but if you wait this is the problem with engage champs if you wait the wave mounts and you won't hit level two and now we have to wait till you know i don't know we have to wait for like three more minutes before we'll get anything right because diana's got to go all the way up here and then and if we assume that our opponents play really well we're not going to have access to this so this is what i'm saying i'm not saying that i'm going to automatically dismiss your vod if you try to work your way up here and you try to fight for the space and they auto the shit out of you and your adc just stands back here and then you just have to give up ground i'll go okay fine whatever and also remember when you come into lane you've got pots right so use them if you take damage stay in there you're like rambo you're trying to like work your way through it because guess what let's do a little trivia class if leona gets level two and her health is right here when she turns like right before she turns level two does she win or lose assuming that ash will follow up it's pretty close right yeah it might not be it might not be an absolute it might not be an absolute automatic win but when if leona turns level two her health is going to go up a little higher right and she's going to turn and go all in and if and if ash is there to follow you fucking win all right, everybody understand bot laners are getting chewed out today, but uh, I wonder if Discord's gonna partner this server after this. You guys have made this server a fucking. This, this server is hot. This is like the most hype server ever. Holy shit, Chogav beat the shit out of us. Hold on, I gotta watch that back. Yeah, we miss Q. All right. <clears throat> first thing you should be doing right now is instead of even bothering trading here, just just get me get me two first, and then do the same exact thing. Now this is a little different. You're not you're not gonna just ace this guy by getting level two, but you're not gonna take this bad of a trade. The problem is you're opting in to something instead of getting us to our next break point. So like here. You auto auto and like you auto him but you're ahead of the push right now you see this and he's not backing down is he so just auto this you got to understand guys and 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 i want you to realize when you're susceptible to this as well so you can play back into it a lot of you guys don't recognize that your opponents are like it, it, they're, they're like bots if you walk up to if you don't touch them they won't touch you <laughs> They won't, they won't, they won't go after you. They won't do anything to you. So watch. You were good to auto the wave. See, you opt into it. This guy goes, hey, I don't like that, right? And he autos you because you walked up and you hand shook it. And then here, you're free to push for two, right? Look, you're free to auto. You're free to auto this minion right here. He's not stopping you, is he? He's not going to do anything to you. Look. Hey. Don't hit me. I'm peaceful. Right? Don't hit me. Fine. I guess I'll hit you back. You see? Look. I'm a peaceful creature. Right? So now he's going to hit him back. But if the Mundo just hits this minion and doesn't go anywhere near the Cho'Gath, Mundo can then go push level two and then walk over and smack him, right? And then go, yeah, this is going to hurt a lot more than the trade I just did. And then Cho'Gath's going to have the, hey, that hurts, epiphany, right? So that's the problem. You could get two right now, but you're choosing to take a trade that isn't as valuable. And so you pissed him off. Look, look, he was peaceful. And now he slapped the shit out of you because you got distracted. Look, you pissed him off. You aggroed him. So, uh, guys, have you ever seen a... <laughs> have you ever seen this not be a gank? That means you gotta run. Yeah, this is the... This is the... Uh... No, no one lies about this. 
No one lies about this. This is a this is this is a this is a 100% someone's coming for you. And he just mistimed it, you see. Look where he's standing. He's just mistiming it. So uh yeah, you're getting ganked here 100% of the time. And there it is. There's the flash. What do you mean ignore your first 3 games? Fuck is he talking about? What are you talking about? Ignore your first three games. What's the point of me doing this then? Let me get somebody else in here that didn't troll. The US guys, get in here. This isn't a damn this isn't a damn coach coach what I wanna what what you wanna see fucking choose your own adventure coach book. No, Dev trolled himself. He trolled himself out of this. I was gonna fight I was all nice. I was like, yeah, I'll take yours, man. I was the homie. I was like, I'll take yours. He's like, oh, by the way, don't take one of three losses. The fuck? Ray, I think your insight would be useful on this one. Oh, shit, I just went into another one. Uh, I mean, the first thing I say wrong here is we have, we're playing Lucian. The champion is... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this champion is so fun to play when you pop off, but it's just so bad. Like, it makes me sad to say it, but this champion is just not worth playing like in like any lane at this point. Yeah, I um, I think he is kind of uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? An unreliable pick. Yeah, just. just I don't even disagree with him. Like, I don't even disagree with you, to be honest. Yeah, because it's like a, uh, it's a champion that relies on you with uh, to win lane, but his laning phase is mediocre, at least in bot lane, like. If his landing phase was like the best out of any ADC, then sure you can maybe make him work. But yeah, it's just it's just not good. Like it's uh, pretty underwhelming. Even though yeah. he's a lot of fun to play. But yeah, and also we just we can see why it's such a hard champion to play because the range is 500. You're losing 150 range against Caitlyn. It's really hard to play this lane anyway. So we're gonna get shot on the tower with no no card play, I don't think. Yeah, so the only we get, <clears throat> yeah. The only thing I, we can do is we can hit the wave and try to hit the wave and not get uh, like slow push on the tower so we don't get poked out to half HP, but that's pretty much it. Like you don't even have a, a decent support against the Lulu. So you both are basically counter picked in slain. So you feel this strongly about Lucian? Yeah. 150 range, especially against the Caitlyn. Like, it's it's probably a worse matchup than if you were playing Vayne. I'm not even joking. He has a pretty good result with it. Let me see here. Rank solo. Oh, uh, well, hmm. I don't know. His results. Oh, his results are hit or miss, it looks like. No, 24 and 13. So, he makes it work. Yeah, okay. I that's think, fine. I, I think for him... Okay, yeah, what so is he supposed to do? What is he? Well, I don't know. This this replay looks pretty pretty low agency. I I probably swap to a second one real quick. Yeah, I fucking hate this lane. Yeah, it's been. I mean, ADC in general, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Because uh, so, so, like, what lane is basically like ADC is basically support defense until you get like one and a half items. Yeah, well, that's why I make uh, that's why I don't make them. Well, that's why I tell them to do like Tristan and Draven, so you have a little bit more. Yeah, like power. Tristan and Draven. Uh, yeah, Tristan and Draven. Uh, pretty much the only two champions I can think of that can actually do something on their own. Like Draven, especially, you get like uh, an early double kill on that champion, and you can literally just run at the enemy team, and it doesn't even yeah. matter. Use a space, tank them, and kill them. I actually, um, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really hate your gameplay, Mister Lucian. I actually didn't I didn't even hate the rotation of dragon here because uh as chat pointed out going for something is better than slowly losing and I just feel like you kind of need to go for something here yeah you autoed the dragon four times but he would have smited it and even if you'd auto him four times he would have smited it anyways probably i would say that uh the feedback about target champs only 
is significant because there might have been a chance that he doesn't smite because he's an idiot. A little bit of mechanical misplay. But ADC is the hardest one to coach for me because a lot of you guys are playing solo and a lot of these role or a lot of these matchups, these 2v2s are just like Ray said, it's whether or not you have any if you have any access to the push or not and this is why I, do you guys see now that you've seen the other side of the coin so this is like around platinum do you guys see why i harp so hard on the level two stuff now D does everybody understand what i'm trying to teach with this yeah if you get really good at the level two then you just have so much more agency in the game because if you don't then yeah it's just gonna be a like a coin flip because like here he just gets pushed in and there's just nothing he can do. There's no point where I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, he could have. The only other thing I guess you could have done, my man, is because of, actually I will give you one more piece of actionable feedback before I close this. Don't leash the ye. I know. Gasp in the chat. Gasps in the chat. God forbid we don't leash. But if you think about it, guys... Well, like, look at it like this. And and be honest, Mr. Lucian, man. We may have not changed the outcome of this game by not leashing. But do you think you would have had a chance to at least maybe get something rolling on bot versus matchup? Yeah, that's all I'm thinking right now is that's the only thing that we can we can do differently from a lane perspective. So, um, well, let's 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 get something out of this then. And this actually, sometimes you do this in top lane too. So it's not a, it's not the craziest concept, really, when you think about it. So like, let me give you an example. If uh, if I'm Trindomir over here, right? If I see if I see that I'm facing a Renekton, I will not leash up at top because that matchup will be determined by who's on the who's on the wave right away. And who's ready to battle right away so a lot like a lot of this matchup is actually decided level one okay so yeah, if you yeah go ahead yeah, yeah it happens in portland also like sometimes i see people who are like typing like adc typing we can't leash so yeah it's it's definitely a thing you mean high elo us yeah yeah, yeah. can't leash we'll we'll get fucked. like i think i think um I think there's a good learning here. There's a good learning opportunity here. If you recognize, and like I say all the time, I don't know every matchup in this game. I have no idea. So I just looked at it, and it looks to me like if Caitlyn and Lulu get you on the ropes, that we just have no play until the jungle comes. That's not a really feel-good thing about uh, when we talk about agency and solo queue. And, you know, platinum to diamond to low diamond, like we shouldn't be just relinquishing all options uh, if we can avoid that. So... You just ping, you just ping that you're on the way to lane. You just ping, hey, I'm on the way, I'm on the way, I'm on the way, right? And that will tell him like I'm not I'm not leashing. Like it's just what it is. I'm not trying to be a dick. You don't have to type it out. They can get bad, they can run it down, but I mean if you truly think that the lane is lost, if you leash, um junglers should know how to do hey, remember both challenges now have been leashless clears. Hello? Everybody should know how to clear their jungle leashless anyways. If your jungle rage quits, he sucks. And he probably would have rage quit over something else. I would say there is no... There is no better... If there is no better option for how to play out the lane, if you can't go like, oh, uh, you know, I'm just going to... I'm going to rebound the wave and then go all in at three. You weren't even allowed to do that versus the Caitlyn Lulu. So if that's the case, then that means leashing is just incorrect and they just have to deal with that. Sucks, but you're just trying to win. It's not like you're doing it to be a dick. You're just doing it to retain your agency, right? It's like, you ready? It's niece relationship advice. All right, you ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna red pill this. I'm, you ready for my red pill relationship yeah, advice? Yeah, let's hear it. All right. So like, you could be in a relationship with somebody, right? But if like you call, like if you're needy, like if you call them all the time and you like always need to like cuddle and shit, like all the time, like you're not gonna be you know you're not gonna be a good a good uh boyfriend girlfriend like you gotta have your own stuff going on you know so like if lucian in order for lucian to get in the gym you know what i mean he can't go to the he can't go to the tea party over here at red buff in order for lucian to get swole 
he's got to skip the tea party like yeah Yi will be you know she, he'll be upset in this relationship that Lucian didn't go to the tea party but like in 10 minutes when Lucian is like 5 and 0 oh, and has got mad groupies Yi will come around right you know Yi might leave him Yi might leave him but Lucian will have retained his, his self-respect, right? He doesn't deserve him. I like that. Yeah, that's true. Beautiful. Absolutely Thank you. beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I think we can end on... <laughs> I think we can end on that.